What's in your pockets, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here. What's in your pockets, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with you on a stormy Friday evening. I definitely do not need those. So, yeah, guys, if you're anywhere in the south, uh, I hope that you are safe right now. We've got a lot of storms going on in the background, so I do apologize if you hear a little bit of thunder, if you see some lightning, or if the power just goes out. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. Which I, I guess you wouldn't know unless I told you because I could just edit it out. Anyway, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. I, I appreciate it so much. If you're a returning viewer, it's great to see you again. I hope you're staying safe and sound and dry. And uh, so, you know, guys, it's Friday. Uh, you know, we've been carrying around this gear all week. And um, so here we are again together on a Friday night for the, you guessed it, it's the TGIF pocket dump. Let's do it! I did want to say really quick, if this is your first TGIF pocket dump, this is the series where every week I go through the EDC gear that I'm carrying. I'm going to show you what I'm carrying on body. I'll stand up here in a second. I'll show you where I'm carrying everything. And then we'll go through, I'll put it on the bench and we'll just take a look at everything. And I'll kind of go through any changes that have happened this week, any new stuff that I've come across, um, how things that I'm carrying are working out, maybe some different uh, changes on that front. So uh, yeah, without further ado, Let's get into it. And so like always, guys, I will go from the left hand side around to the right. Also, I did want to show a little a couple of options on a pack carry because with it being summertime, well, it's not summer yet, but in the south, it feels like summer already. Uh, I'm wearing shorts. So, yeah, uh, it's already starting to feel like summer. It's already very humid. So uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of options of pack carry. And I wanted to uh, preface kind of that in my carry this week actually is a sort of a stripped down carry. So I'm trying something a little bit different. Um, one of the things that's allowed me to do that is the, and I'll just start off with this. The, it is the pocket launch pad from Knife Viking. I believe pocket launch pad is the name that he's going to go with. And uh, this one, I've got a complete mini EDC kit in here. I'll show you that here in just a second. And in the back left, I have, of course, the wonderful O'Hank, as always. And uh, I guess now I could go ahead, you know, guys, if, if this is not your first one at the TIG Watch Pro. A light I-Mini 2 on a titanium chain. I wear around my neck. Um, in uh, back right pocket, still got the Fidelo minimalist wallet. I am loving this thing, guys. If you haven't seen my video on that, check that out. This this is a great wallet. Highly recommend it. And I, I'm not I'm not sponsored by them or anything. So that's just that's just off the top of my head for free. Got the uh, of course whoops, upside down the Lighter Bro Pro. As always, if you know, you know. Uh, the knife I'm carrying right now, I just happen to still have the Swiss Tech Garenda in my pocket. I just recorded the unboxing video on it, and I just still had it on me when I went to record this. So that's what you get. On the right side, we've got the Taurus G2C with the Balder RL, of course. And that is unloaded. Here's the mag for it. I already unloaded it. And as always, I carry that in a G2C. I carry the G2C in the Gun and Flower Kydex holster with the Ulti Clip on it. Great combination, the Kydex holster and Ulti Clip. And that's almost a, a must have to me if you're going to be carrying, especially concealed. And uh, I have something a little different on me that I want to show you guys that I'm carrying this week and um, I'm using it right now as my small arms retention knife. But if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm a, a big fan of Ed Calderon. I, I, I loved his EDC pocket dump that he did with Sean Ryan. I thought it was really just a, a game changer 
to me. So, right, I, I've been working on this for a couple of days now. Um, I took a plain kitchen knife, which he talks about, you know, how that is one of the most deadly weapons in the world and statistically is one of the deadliest weapons in the world, basically. Um, if you guys have seen the Topps Pioneero, that's a knife that was uh, designed by Ed Calderon. In, com in uh, I think he designed it along with Topps. And super cool little knife. But if you look at it, it looks like a kitchen knife. So what I did is I took my own kitchen knife and I modified it just a little bit. Um, added some touches to it. I need a little help on the blade, guys. If you, anybody has any advice on uh, like polishing this blade or getting it a little nicer, I would really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just took a uh, basic kitchen knife and uh, just made some finger grooves on it. You can see there, you still see the original bolsters from the kitchen knife and it does still have, this is a full tang. So I just went and left that bolster on there. I'm, I'm, I'm about to use it on my ring light. And uh, so, yeah, if I, if I go missing, that's what happened. I'll be on, on trial for murdering a ring light. But anyway, if anybody has any advice on the blade, I would love to hear it. Um, I did put some jimping on the back. And I kind of did my own jimping pattern that will, when you're holding it this way, you can really lock your finger in. And you're holding it this way, you can really lock your thumb in to pull back pressure. But then at the front, there's a stop that allows you to put your forward pressure on there. So this thing is super sharp. Um, I might do a video about it if anybody's interested in uh, learning a little bit more. But yeah, if you guys are interested at all, um, let me know in the comments down below. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about this. It wasn't hard to do uh, if you have just some basic tools around. And it, it's very sharp. I, I, I might do a cutting a cutting test of this versus some other pocket knives. But in, in his video, he said that the they went and picked out a Pioneer Woman, I think it was, kitchen knife, and that it outperformed a lot of the um, just like store-bought knives. So I thought, why not try and modify my own? And I'm actually pretty happy with it. I, I know if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know I've been, really been trying to find the perfect EDC fixed blade. And this, guys, this is very close. This is very close to perfect to me. Um, it's a couple of things I would change on it, and it would and it would be perfect. But I like it a lot. It's very sharp. Um, it's performed very well. Since I've been carrying it around, I've been trying it out, just using it as my everyday knife. And, and it works perfectly. I don't know what the stainless steel composition is. I have no clue. So, um, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. But I'm calling this one the, uh, I had been calling it the Red Wolf because yeah, uh, being from Arkansas, living here in Arkansas, my dad is a uh, ASU alum and they're now known as the Red Wolves, used to be the Indians. But um, so I made a small little holster for it, a sheath out of, I took cardboard, two pieces of cardboard, folded them over and then used a few layers of Gorilla duct tape. And then into that, I wove, which this is really ugly, guys. So pardon me. This is my first attempt at something like this. I wove some Kevlar cording, about two feet worth of it into here. And then you can see it goes around the bottom and there's a needle in there still stuck into the thread. So the thread is usable. Um, I just got a cheap clip. I found a couple of these on Amazon and um, yeah, just bolted it through right through the cardboard and the duct tape. And it works, works very well. It's uh, very secure, holds the knife in place really well. But yeah, I uh, picked up a couple of the cheap clips from Amazon and just attached them to there. And as you can see, it, it holds very well and seems to hold it in place very well. And I like it because the way that I made the sheath, you can reverse it so you can carry it either way. It's just a secure either way. So it allows you to right or left hand carry, which is really cool. And the handle design, I tried to make it, it's more for, you know, um, just a sort of front style hold. Um, but it does feel very good in a reverse grip and added some knurling there on the end just for a little extra, you know, just a little extra. 
Um, as always, I am wearing the uh, Vismix tactical belt. Um, I can't take that off because these will literally fall off me if I do. But I did want to go into one more thing. Um, and that's because with the summertime, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sort of uh, augmenting my everyday carry with uh, this pack. Is, it really ends up being the one that I end up using the most. Um, this is a Winex tactical sling. It does have an inner compartment in here where you can put, where you can carry your gun on the inside. It's not super secure, um, but what I'll do is I'll clip uh, my ulti clip holster in there and it works just fine. You can carry that in there as well um, and it wears just fine. It's actually really quick to get to and draw. So, um, you know, that's an option for you if you're into uh, that sort of thing. But what it allows me to do is it allows me to take some of the stuff off body and start um, sort of making more of a modular type of carry. And um, what I mean by modular is that, uh, you know, sort of like the pocket, like the pocket launch pad, it, it allows you to create these little modular packs, which is what I like about it. And if you have more than one, it allows you to create these little modular packs that you can add into different packs. Now, this is another one. This one has a little heavier duty kit in it. Um, just a little and some secondary items, you know, as a backup because two is one and one is none. But yeah, I carry uh, the lightweight X pack one in the left front pocket and stick this one inside the wine X pack and bam, you got your bases covered there. And then also in here, I will usually keep my boo-boo kit, AFAC, IFAC kit, med little medical kit. That's where I keep that. And down here is the tourniquet. So with it being the summer months, what, what a pack allows you to do is it allows you to offload some of that stuff off your body. And like I said, if you're wearing shorts, you know, you may not have as many pockets. Um, it, especially if you're wearing swimming trunks or something like that, that don't have a lot of pockets or no way to um, carry your pistol. You know, this is a great solution. Maybe not need this particular one. You know, if you don't like the crossbodies, there are other options out there. But this one just seems to work really well for me. I like the fact that I can easily access all the pockets from the front. I like this snap top here. A lot of times I will put my phone in this pocket. Um, or one of the pocket platforms just for more organization, but it let, lets me get to everything quickly And as you can see I kind of have everything staged where it's like first aid kit for little boo-boos And then here we got we keep the tourniquet for you know more serious injuries And then inside you know, it's got a nice big compartment on the inside too. You can fit a lot of stuff in there so yeah, I highly recommend something like this as a way of augmenting your EDC and just offloading some of that weight off of your body. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at what all we got here. Over the bench, and I just wanted to really quickly go over, you know, a couple of the things in my carry, you know, that were different. Like I said, uh, I'm carrying two different versions of the pocket launch pad now is what he is calling these. You know, like I said before, these are sort of in the developmental stage. When I first showed them off, especially, it was just completely experimental. So these are what I would say maybe like a beta. You know, if you're if you're into video games, how uh, things will be sort of like a beta test version, which is a workable version, but it's still um, you're counting on the community to sort of help you iron out some kinks and bugs. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm really loving is this little knife. I I just. I think it's so cool and I don't, I'm not really sure maybe it's the work that I've put into it. Uh, maybe it's just that I, you know, made it to fit me so well. And, um, it's really sort of like a, a learning process for me wanting to, uh, find a particular knife that I can't find and just deciding that, uh, I'm going to either make my own or, or find somebody who can make it for me. So if you are a knife maker and you're interested in uh, something like that hit me up in the comments down below love to talk to you um not really a whole lot of other changes um guys you know i was talking about the uh, pack carry and how that just kind of allows you to offload some of that weight you know when you start wearing lighter clothes for summertime and i touched on how you know um a pack a sling bag or pack 
like the uh, YNX Tactical Sling, which I'll have a link for this down in the description for you guys if you're interested in one of those. I do have an Amazon link for it. It'll be an affiliate link. So as always, if you want to help the channel out, um, we do get a little percentage of the sale, but it doesn't cost you any more. And a lot of times I do have, I can find really good deals and I'll have a good coupon, um, 10, 15% off on them. So check the link in the description if you're interested in picking one of those up. Also, guys, if you made it this far in the video, leave me a like down below real quick. Just, just go down there and click it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Come on, come on. Okay, cool. Are you subscribed? If not, go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I'm sorry. I should have said that before while you were, I know it's a chore. I know. I'm sorry. You got to go back down to the bottom and you got to click another button. I'm so sorry. But listen, giving you this content free of charge, all I ask is a like and make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That really lets YouTube know that uh, we're doing good work over here and that you guys like what we're doing. Um, as always, guys, I hope everybody has a great week. I'm going to go ahead and end it here because it's storming and I'm not really sure uh, how much longer this is going to hold up here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I would like to say, as always, remember to always be carrying and that the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.